It's time for CP's top three, but it's JF. I'm Jeff Michelle here, and I've infiltrated CP's top three. Let's call it JF's top three this week. Hey, we can make it join us. Glad, <laughs> glad to have you here with me. But I'm here to help CP's top three this week, which is the top three things Florida State must do to take down Auburn in the national championship game. All right, CP, give me number one. I think number one, uh, Florida State must stop Auburn's run game. And when you look at Auburn's running game, it consists of Nick Marshall, the quarterback, and Trey Mason. But the one thing that hurts them is they run east and west. To beat Florida State, you cannot run east and west. Penetration alone will kill east and west plays. Therefore, you must get upfield, get downhill. So I think this is going to affect Auburn's game plan because Florida State can penetrate, Florida State will penetrate, and Auburn must find a way to counter. They don't really have a passing game. They look for trick plays. Yeah, you trick plays. There's a lot of eye candy with that Gus Malzahn offense, right? It's pretty, but this Florida State <laughs> defense is even prettier. So uh, when, you, when you're when looking at this, eye candy is not going to win you this game. All right. What's number two, the second reason Florida State can beat Auburn? Well, I think when you look at the second reason, uh, it's turnovers. If you look, Florida State has 17 turnovers in 13 games. That's a little over one turnover per game. For Florida State to go out and, and not turn the ball over means they're moving the chains. You won't see their punt, punter very often, uh, and they're not going to beat themselves. So therefore, Auburn has to find a way to score outside of offensively because running the ball on Florida State for a full game will not work, especially going east and west. So therefore, Auburn must cause turnovers to even have a chance talk about the Knowles not committing very many turnovers. I mean, another testament to the great job Jameis Winston has done not throwing too many picks. And those running backs, they just don't ever fumble. Well, when you look, Jameis Winston protects the ball. He's savvy with the ball. He gets he gets the ball to these receivers so accurate. I mean, it's like if a cornerback could turn around quick enough, then they may have a pick. But he's threading the needle uh, with that arm he have. And the running backs do, do a great job at protecting. All right. Give me the third thing Florida State must do to beat Auburn. Well, I think big plays in the passing game. When you look at this passing game, I don't think Auburn has one corner on their roster that can match up with one receiver on Florida State roster. So that means Benjamin, that means Green, that means Shaw. And then you have the tight end and throwing it to the backs out of the backfield has been exposed and is really working for Florida State. So when you look at Auburn, you have a young defensive line at Auburn. You have guys that are gonna be confused. You have guys that are gonna be out of their lanes. So how do you stop this Florida State offense? Big plays will kill Auburn. And if they score 28 points, the Knowles will set a new FBS all-time record for scoring. Well, after they score 28 <laughs> points, because they will score 28 points. The question is, can Auburn score 28 points? FSU will definitely score 28 points. All right, so stop Auburn's running attack. Don't commit any turnovers, and you expect a few big plays out of that passing game from the Knowles. That's CP's top three. Do you agree with him? Tweet us at the ACCDN. I like to call it JF's top three. It is JF's. It's JF's top three. <laughs> but this is CP's top three, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.